what's up guys so a lot of you guys have been asking me to make a less difficult trick tutorial and i thought i'd start with a basic tutorial series and i'll start that with a front flip so last tutorial i did was a ceiling palm flip which is a little bit harder and you need to be able to do a high back flip in order to do it and i know that a lot of you guys are beginners so because of that i'm going to do a front flip tutorial today i hope this helps you guys learn these are the steps that I used when I was younger, like six years old, to learn this. So I'm sure it'll work for you guys. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are liking the videos. Yeah, let's get right into it. And so first things first is a forward roll. This is the easiest way to go about feeling out what a front flip kind of feels like without doing it in the air. I'm gonna show you guys me doing it a couple times right here. And you guys just know you want to practice that step about five to ten times, maybe even 20 times, just to get the feeling of it. So, yeah. Yep. If you feel confident and ready to move on to the next step after you've felt comfortable doing the forward roll a bunch of times, then you want to try something called a dive roll where you jump into it and you have height and then you roll. You want to make sure that you land with your hands and then take down the impact to one shoulder. You can even go over your head, but you still want to take the impact to one shoulder. That way you don't hurt yourself. I'll show you guys what I mean. I hope that makes sense to you guys. After you've practiced your dive roll a bunch, then you're ready to move on to the next step. And the next step is even less advanced than a dive roll. The next step is jumping and tucking. You wanna make sure that you can jump in the air and get a good grab of your legs or at least stay tight into your body, like this. Or this this you just want to make sure you can get nice and tight in in the air because that is what you're going to need to do in the middle of the front flip to help you rotate once you're comfortable with that step then you're going to move on to the next step which is also a bit basic what you doing hey stay here all right once you guys have done that step a bunch of times what you okay you really don't want to be held right now all right i'll put you down the next step is the run up now, for you guys that are beginners, it's not as easy to do it with less run-up. You're going to need to run a, or take a bit of steps. So you want to make sure you know what steps you need to take in order to get that right jump that leads you into the perfect front flip. Let me explain. Before I explain that, I'm going to explain this. This is my merch at springytoad.com, www.springytoad.com. Make sure you get yourself some merch. I've got a bunch of different colors, different sizes, and I ship worldwide. So make sure to check that out, please. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you. When you're running, you want to make sure that your last two steps are nice and choppy before that final jump that's going to extend you into the front flip. Here's what I mean. I'm just going to do the stepping just to show you guys. And then I'm also going to do the stepping with a front flip so that you see why it will help you do the front flip. So I don't know if you guys are noticing, but I'm actually taking a really, really tiny amount of space up in that last jump, but it's really fast and explosive. This step can be a, a little bit difficult to explain, but the best way I can put it is if you're going fast on a road and you put a speed block in the ground, your car is going to fly. Same thing with this. If you run fast and then slow yourself down quickly, and launch yourself up, you're going to go fast and high. Same kind of thing. So here is me using that setup for a front flip. And yeah, I hope you guys understand why it helps it. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. So yeah. It's a nice and quick choppy jump at the end. 
The next step is a little bit of an optional step. You don't have to do this. I did this as a kid to help me, but it doesn't help everyone. I'm just gonna show you guys, and I'm not gonna explain it too much, but you guys can try it if you want. It helps some people, it helped me. Yeah, it's like a front handspring thing. Okay, now the final step to this whole front flip process is to actually go for it. And the way you do that is you put all the steps that I just gave you together into one. So you're gonna run, you're gonna take that quick step at the very end, you're gonna explode off. Then once you're in the air, you're gonna crunch into your body and tuck either like this or just like this. And then when you're coming out to the landing, you wanna look for the ground or it might be hard to see the ground but you still want to look for it if possible and then extend your legs out to land. Now for some people, the hardest part about the front flip is the landing in general. So as long as you spam it enough times and make sure that your legs are ready for the landing, when you absorb the impact, you should be all good and you should be landing it. Here is the full product of the front flip. I'm gonna do four or five different front flips for you right now. Yeah, study. You may not be landing it the first or second try, but that's completely okay. You wanna keep practicing it, make sure your practice safe. This is not an easy trick unless you spam it enough times to where it becomes locked into your brain. So make sure you're practicing it very often to ensure that your brain and your muscle memory still remembers the formula of a front flip. All right, so a couple months come by, you, you guys got your front flip down, no problem. You're landing it every single time. Now it's time to get into the variations. There's a variation called the Russian front flip. There's a variation called the Webster. And there's many other variations. I'm not gonna get into all of them in this video, but yeah. Front flips are one of my favorite tricks to do, and I'm gonna show you guys about a minute or so of the hardest things I've ever done with front flip. Whether it be front flip, double front flip, front twisting, whatever it is. Front flip stuff, one minute, here it is. helped you guys learn the front flip it helped me when i was like six or seven years old so i'm sure it'll help you guys drop a comment and let me know what other tricks you guys want to learn that are easy and i'll do a tutorial out of them again thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel get some of my merch at www.springytoad.com follow my social medias tiktok and instagram right here and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video who knows what it'll be but thank you guys for staying tuned to my YouTube channel. It means a lot. Yeah, peace out.